As many as 28 homes were lost in the Bridger Foothills wildfire, each with a story of their own. MTN's Cody Boyer is at the burn area after finding one homeowner who lost something precious to him, but was helped in a big way to get it back. Bill Feniger and his wife have called this their home for 18 years. When that wall of fire came up to his house, he did not expect what would happen next. There isn't a picture frame, there isn't a dish, there isn't a fork, there's nothing. Bill Feniger says he was golfing with a friend when he looked up and saw smoke creeping towards his home. It was clear as day, little bloom of smoke, nothing major. Within 20 minutes, we saw flames climbing up the mountain. By the time I got home, the bloom was quite big and the fire was at the top of the hill. The smoke only grew. My wife and I hadn't planned on leaving, but we thought, well, it's gonna be high. We threw some stuff in a little bag, jumped in the car and left. That was the last time Bill says he saw his home intact, except for a nest surveillance camera, which captured the final eight seconds before wind and fire took it away. Last live picture was at um, 341. My, my trees and my patio, uh, my aspens were bent over almost to the ground. The firemen tell me that the wind was probably 100 miles an hour and it was probably 2000 degrees. There's absolutely Nothing left at our house except an old ashtray from my mother. And a family urn still in the yard. It was just unbelievable. It was just all melted and holes in it. But an image rose from the other photos taken by Bill's flip phone, his American flag, tattered but intact. And to drive down the driveway when I took that picture of that tattered flag, it was very emotional. My first instinct was uh, we help these people, we get them back on their feet, and we give them hope. Unknown to Bill, Sheriff Brian Gutkin saw an empty flagpole, the tattered flag now gone, and remembered a special flag at home. It was one of the leftover ones from Jake Almendinger. Uh, what happens is every time we stand watch over one of our people, we, we uh, have a flag over the casket, and we replace that flag every time a shift changes. Which he saw made it to the Feniger's flagpole. Not for him to do the favor, but as a sign of hope. It's special, definitely. I mean, uh, you're the first one that I've told that to. Uh, I thought no better place for Jake's flag to be than out here. It's really very touching, and um, I can't, can't even express to him how much it meant to us what he did. Bill says the next step is the only step, move forward with the help of an entire community. I didn't think at 73 I'd be still growing, but this is an experience that shows you you had never stopped growing. Thankfully, they had insurance for this house. In Gallatin County, Cody Boyer, MTN News. Well, Deputy Jake Almendinger worked with the Gallatin County Sheriff's Office and tragically lost his life last winter while trying to save someone else's life.